Welcome to another edition of Pinfalls. This time it's Pinfalls WrestleMania. I, of course, am John. I'm John G-Speed.com. And with me, as always, my Pinfalls co-host extraordinaire, Tommy Ellis. How, How are you doing, Tommy? John? I'm good, man. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for having me back. Hey, you're always welcome to, to uh, discuss wrestling with you, my friend. So we jump right in? Yeah. I mean, right. this is... Uh... We're here today to talk about the uh, the grandest spectacle in sports entertainment history, where legends are made and icons are born. The showcase of the immortals. Very nicely done. Very so nice I uh, I think it's a this is a big one. Uh, you don't have our uh, our stats from the last. Uh, I don't the last one, do you? I we, don't. I believe we did. We tie up on the last one. I believe. I thought I edged you by one, but we might have tied. You might have beaten me by one. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's important that we give updates on. on I do our, have them. And I promise I will flash them up in the screen when there I. There you go. This. Okay. Um, so, as we discussed uh, before, we've got a lot of matches. We're not going to cover them all in this video, but we are going to cover them in the accompanying article on GlobalWomenSportsRadio.com. Um, here we're going to discuss five matches and a couple of other oddities in WrestleMania. And with that, we should just jump right in if you're ready. Yeah, go for it, man. All right, man. Well, let's let's start with let's start with uh, Edge. We'll start a little slow, Bill. Let's start with Edge versus AJ Styles. Um. Well, obviously, I'm looking forward to this as being probably one of the better actual wrestling matches um, for the evening. And well, uh, uh, you know, I think they've been building up edge and uh i i i'm cop i'm i'm going with edge on this because he has uh he has a point he's brought up how since his return he has lost most of his major matches coming back and uh while i don't think he needs i don't think i, I think aj is in a position where him losing to edge at mania isn't going to hurt him by any means and if they plan on going forward with edge and then i am from what i understand he's got a, a reasonable uh, length on his current contract then he's got to get something and i think that uh i think he's due so i'm going well, with edge i like your style but my pick's a little take it easy take my pick easy. isn't as edgy as yours. Oh God, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up soon if you keep going with this. this. <laughs> I am going with AJ Styles. You're gonna... um, okay. I, I think I think I agree with what you're saying. Obviously, it's fact. It, it's, uh, Edge has lost a lot going in. Uh, AJ probably could take the loss, but he's not going to take the loss. I think I think to give AJ a big win on the stage, I could be going I I, I could be going against trend because I, you know, McMahon always likes to bury the other talent and have. WWE rule over uh, talent from elsewhere, but no pun intended. But uh, and, and this time I am I am giving it to AJ Styles. I think he kind of needs a big win on a big stage, and I think this is going to be it. Well, I agree that AJ has uh, he 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 doesn't really have a whole lot going on these days. But you got to remember, he did have a pretty lengthy run with almost. Uh, as tag champions together and uh, I believe they were tag champs at Wrestlemania last year um, so you know as far as Wrestlemania wins I think he's probably won I mean it, most if not all of the matches he's had at Mania not that there's a lot but there's the ones that he's had so again I feel like he's he can afford the loss and uh edge needs if edge if edge loses again you know and i mean this is supposed to be edge like you know all revamp he's got new music he's got you know he's he's, he's talking to people in the dark you know and on tv you know it's it's i i feel like they're doing something with him so they must they must have some plans and i don't think it would behoove them to let him go under it this thing so well, I'm, sti I'm starting, sticking with Edge. Sticking with Edge. One different. We'll All right. Play it from there. Now we got the, the huge tag team match, and I have to read it because it's a lot. We have the Champs women's tag team match. We have the Champs Queen Zelina and Carmella facing 
Sasha Banks and Naomi, and Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan, and Natalia and Shayna Baszler. Or do you say Baszler? Baszler. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, I say Baszler. I mean, I don't know if that's the correct. That's, that's what they usually say, I think. Um, tough one. Um, I, uh, I, I narrow, you know, it's, uh, I would rule out Queen Zelina and Carmelo. I don't Ooh. think they're, I don't, I don't think they're retaining. Uh, I rule out, uh, Natalia and Shayna Baszler and, uh, I love Shayna Baszler, big, big Shayna Baszler fan, but Natalia is the weak link in that one. And I just don't see it happening. Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan are are probably the biggest uh, fan favorites in this, I would think, as far as wanting to see somebody win. I mean, obviously, everybody, you know, loves Sasha and Naomi. Um, you know, I think I'm going to go with Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan. Uh, they live, live, live is due for getting for winning something and i think a, a tag title is definitely a good start i don't think she's ready for a, a the women's title just yet rhea ripley is a big fan favorite right now and they uh i think they're the sentimental favorite in the whole thing uh banks and naomi you know if i had to pick a a close second i would say them but again i think those two are big enough right now they don't need those titles. So I'm going to say Rhea Ripley, Liv Morgan. Well, my thought is in, in the sake or uh, against redundancy, my thought is exactly what you said. And I, yeah. I, I immediately ruled out Natalia and, and uh, Shayna Baszler because of Natalia. Love Natalia. Always loved Natalia. She's not winning the tag titles at WrestleMania. Um, mm -hmm. I thought it was time for Queen Zelina and Carmella to split, possibly, um, possibly one of them turns. Maybe there's a few there in the future. So then I came down to the two Banks and Naomi versus Rhea Ripley and, and Liv Morgan. I, I had to go with, with your reasoning, the same thing. I go with, with uh, Liv Morgan and, and Ripley taking the titles. I don't think, I don't think Zelina and uh, Carmella have been a good tag team anyway. Correct. And uh, Carmella is getting ready to get married soon. So, I mean, she's probably not going to be around for a little bit you know who knows so yeah i agree so no, you're not you're not marrying her are you no Corey graves has oh. got his hooks hooks yeah. into her lucky jerk she's a I'm, yeah well i'll get into it go ahead <laughs> all right <laughs> let's go champ versus champ the big one oh title well, this, title. you know you, you really should save that one for last you're like i'm gonna go for the slow build here you know, well because like, i wanted to do the women the two solo women's matches last all right. Winner take all. I say, uh, man, it, you know, it, it, it should be black and white, but I really think that, uh, you know, I keep saying this every, <laughs> I keep saying this every show almost, uh, but you know, Reigns has got to, it's got to end. The guy needs a break if nothing else. The guy needs, the guy needs a vacation. I'm sure, you know, so I got to go with, I'm going with Brock um i mean it would be a huge thing it would be a huge huge deal for reigns because uh the the length of his title run would just be astronomically ridiculous at that point if he was able to carry it on and unify the title so that would be a big feather in his cap to be able to do that i just don't know if he's willing to keep I mean, because if he if he wins at mania i mean that guy is going to have to keep going at least till SummerSlam, right you know so uh typically that seems to be the pattern so i don't know and brock is on a real roll right now too and they've really gone out of their way to get this match and you know get the title get the title on brock or get first first get him the opportunity to go to wrestlemania then he won the title so he had already gotten the match with Reigns. Now he got the title, and now he can put that up against the other one. Now they're going to unify it, which I think that in itself is a good idea, the unification yeah. of the titles. Um, yeah, so I'm, uh, I wouldn't, I don't rule out the possibility of Reigns going because if they really, really want to put him over, and he is younger and he is going to have more of a future long term than, than Brock will. 
I could see why they would do that. I just think for the time being, uh, and plus Reigns has beaten Brock at Mania like two or three times now or something like that, I think. You know, I don't know that Brock ever beat Reigns at Mania. So he's due. So I'm going with Brock. Well, I, you know, it's interesting you, you mentioned that it's good that they're unifying the titles. It's weird. They're unifying the men's titles, yet they're keeping the women's titles separate unless there's some plan for that down the line, too, to be unified. Because that just seems it would seem to be the other way. Unify the women's title and keep two separate men's titles. Why do you why do you think that? Because I think there, gonna... I think there's more qualified men contenders. OK, the you could have more different matchups than with women. Yeah, um, I think that uh, I I don't know. Maybe it's just the politics in the women's locker room right now. Is you know I know that like you know there's been all that heat between Becky Lynch and uh, Charlotte Flair and everything. You know you start you know unifying titles and there's only one champ and everything. You know that could that could make things get a little hairy in the back there. So it could be kind of more of a diplomatic move on their part to just do that plus plus if you you know and maybe they are going to unify the titles but not the same night as these because it does take the shine off of it uh, this match you know you want it to you want to make that the the marquee so it could um, be a process yeah they could do it at SummerSlam, or if they did like another women's evolution pay-per-view or something that would be a good one to unify the titles at so uh that's probably a timing thing as well i would imagine you raised so. a good point for once. Um, with that being said, I, I am picking Les, or yeah, I'm picking Lesnar because, as you said, they've made a huge. They're, they're both being built well. I mean, you know, they built Reigns to be an unstoppable monster. Now they built up Lesnar. His comeback would would be really fall flat if he loses this match after everything he went through to get there. Where does he go after this? Who do you put up against Reigns after this if 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 Lesnar loses? Right. If Brock doesn't get the honors of taking him out, then who does, you know, right. and I, and I can't think of anybody who's just like jumping to the forefront of my mind of being like, well, of course, you right. know, so-and-so needs to be the one to go in then there and do it. And it won't so, hurt Reigns to lose. And yeah. He'll lose the title and all that. And it might actually open up storylines with the, the, the tribe and all that, but it's not going to hurt his status. He might take some time off, you know, who knows, but yeah, he, he could afford the loss. Now we move on to the women's the SmackDown Women's Championship. Charlotte Flair defends against Rowdy Ronda Rousey. I should have worn my Roddy Piper shirt instead of Mankind, but okay. uh, you know, I, I I I don't feel like Rousey has really had enough steam going into Mania. Um, I just I feel like she's back, but the hype isn't the same as the first time she was around. I don't feel like people are as behind her or as excited. Now, Flair's definitely, you know, a hated heel for sure. Um, but I just I'm I'm I I think this one might go to Charlotte Flair, to be honest. You know, I mean she's certainly you know had the title a million times and I, I'm not saying that she needs the win by any means uh, but uh, I mean for Rhonda to just come back I mean if Rhonda came back and she was on a real roll really at the crowd behind her was kicking a lot of ass in the ring and stuff you know their matches she's the matches she's been in so far have been all right you know but I just think that at this point I I don't I don't see how they would give her the title I don't know like in the aftermath of of wrestlemania you know it just seems like a, a flat title run that we'd be going into so well i disagree my friend i think the rowdy one takes the title charlotte's held it long enough she's held it enough times rousey came back for reason she's not coming back just to to be a contender and to just then fall off and, and just go into random feuds she's going to win the title at wrestlemania she's going to beat charlotte who is one of the best of all time. Yeah. And and maybe this leads to the unification. Maybe she beat Charlotte and then says, I want both belts. And then she goes up against Becky, two belts, if Becky wins. 
Um, well, I, I, I will say, I mean, I have, I'm definitely done with her being the champion. I mean, I'm fine with having a new champion and I'm certain that when they brought Rhonda back, they probably had plans and ideas about her taking the title off of her at, at mania and everything. It's just, like I said, I, I could see them possibly calling an audible just because I just feel like since she's come back, it just hasn't been very exciting. And I don't feel the, uh, you know, the crowds into her, but they're not like losing their mind for her like they did before, you know? So I, I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I say the, I say the rowdy one prevails. You say the, the, uh, what, what do they call Charlotte Flair now? The queen? The queen. The queen. Yeah. Well, see, I, the other one's the queen. Queen Zelina. Well, she's a queen. We have two queens. She's a legitimate queen. Oh, yeah, have um, queen. I don't know. Anyway, the Raw Women's Championship. You got Becky Lynch, champ. Your versus girl. Versus my gal, yeah. Versus Bianca Belair. Um, I Ooh, say both yeah. it would be in this match, even though WWE originally said no, because she was injured. We knew she'd be back. So, well, they back. said that she would be out for an indefinite period of time. Yeah. So that's that left a window open there for them. They wanted to create some doubt, I think. Uh, I think I think uh, Bel Air wins this. I think she's due for her comeuppance. Um, she has, uh, been dealing with this Becky Lynch situation since SummerSlam last year. It's been an on and off thing. It's a good build and, uh, there needs to be a payoff for it. And, uh, so yeah, I, I say, uh, and, and, and everything that they've been doing, the two of them, I mean, Bel Air, uh, slicing up, uh, Becky with her hair and then, Becky going and you know supposedly like breaking Bel Air's trachea or whatever that she's recovered from now apparently. Um, <laughs> Very similar to the Ricky Steamboat trachea at the hands yeah. of Randy Savage. So I mean, like it's it's had a good build. They really, I I I I think that this is one where they they got to have let Bel Air, you know, get get this one. So I'm I'm going with I'm going with Bel Air. I am as well. Uh, although this kind of goes against my my long term plan, I, I originally saw Ronda Rousey facing Becky Lynch eventually to unify the belts. Um, so I, I'm not really sure where my ultimate plan goes. But nonetheless, yeah, the the path here has been building up Bianca Belair to win this match, to go against Becky to take the title. She will take the title, and she'll be the new champ. I agree. All right, well, we're doing we're doing well. So now we go on to we have a couple of random segments in WrestleMania. So I, I just wanted to get your thoughts on these as well. Who will Seth Rollins face? Well, obviously, everybody's saying that they think Cody Rhodes is coming back and he's going to be there. Uh, you and I went to Raw two weeks ago now, I think, um, and. Mm-hmm, yeah. uh, we were thinking that if he was coming back, he might show up then. I mean, they got to get a little time for a little bit of storyline in there first or something. Um, it seems like the idea of him just showing up at WrestleMania and then them having a match seems like a waste if you don't have promotion behind it first. Um, I contend at this point that he may not be the one who is coming back now. I can't say that I have a really good idea of who he would fight at WrestleMania. Well, um, have you heard the rumor of who is brought back already? No. The rumor is that Shano will be at WrestleMania. Okay. If that's the case, I would put my money on Shane coming back first. I think if it historically the Monday night after raw is when a lot of guys come and make their debut. It's when Goldberg came into the WWE and stuff like that. They saved that for that Monday night after, I think the Monday night after uh, WrestleMania is when Cody makes his debut. And so if Shane is back, then yeah, then Vince is going to stick him against Shane. So the only value that, now that they would have if Cody shows up at WrestleMania, it's just the the anything could happen. So you, yeah, you gotta, but you it's, order it's the pay per views because yeah, look what happens. It's too big, and then you yeah. got to also take into account how much 
how many people would be pissed off in the locker room that, you know, they bust their asses all year to try to get to WrestleMania. This guy signs a contract and then they just put him on the card against Seth Rollins as one of the biggest matches. In the, I mean, that would be one of the biggest matches of the yeah, night, but is it, you know? But realistically, is are they going to be any happier to see 50-something-year-old Shane McMahon come back to wrestle? Well, I don't know. I love Shane McMahon, and the guy is never disappointed in a match. I mean, can you tell me a bad Shane O'Mac match? No, you're right. You're right. I mean, especially at WrestleMania. I mean, like the guy, I mean, him versus Rollins would be a great match. Yeah. Right? I mean, I agree. And, and the thing is, is with, 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 with Shane, you don't need to have backstory. I mean, you don't have to get familiar with him. I mean, everybody knows him, everybody knows his style. And if he comes in as like a hired gun for Vince or something like that to go in and take on Seth Rollins, then great. You know, I, I don't think anybody would be, I think, you know, there's people who are really fingers crossed on, you know, roads and everything, but you know, I sure those people will be disappointed, but I don't think anyone will be disappointed with the actual match once it all gets goes down. Because people, if they're gonna do it, they're gonna they're gonna make it worthwhile, and those two guys will bring down the house. That would be a great match at WrestleMania. So, agreed. and and the people that might be upset or disappointed that Cody Cody's not there, if assuming he's signing with the WWE, which all signs indicate, he'll be he'll have plenty of pay per view matches, and he'll have plenty of time to to wrestle at yeah. WrestleMania unless he gets buried down on the card, which other people are predicting that'll eventually happen too in the wonderful world of the WWE, so who knows? Well, we'll see, but I, I think his path starts that Monday night. So. I agree with you. Oh, man, how about that? So the last one, there's not really uh, much to debate on what's going to happen. Austin showing up on the Kevin Owens show. Do you have thoughts on that? Well, all I can say is, is that unless they do something outside of the box of having a talk show and then the set getting destroyed and Austin beating him up and drinking his beers and taking off, which I mean, seems to be the cookie cutter talk show segment. Um, I don't think it's going to be all that great. I think the crowd will pop for Austin. They'll be happy to see him beat up Owens. He'll take off whatever. I, I I've never been a fan of doing the talk shows at WrestleMania. And in fact, I would argue that any of the talk shows I've seen them do at WrestleMania have generally sucked. Correct. And it's just been a waste of time. Um, it's usually a chance to bring someone like Stone Cold or or DX or, or, or celebrity, some the, yeah, or celebrity or something like that out to the ring, and just have a small spot or something like that. You know, it doesn't mean Austin couldn't go. I don't know that he could go a match or not. You know. Uh, but I, I, I don't think Austin, you know, cause some people were saying that this could turn into a legit match or something yeah. like that. I mean, if they did, then yes, this would make this bigger than just a talk show segment thing. But at the same time, I think Austin, like many of the guys in his generation, hold themselves to a certain standard that they wouldn't, uh, if they felt like they couldn't go out there and give, if he couldn't go and give a, a stone cold performance in the ring for a match uh then he wouldn't do it and i think if he was going to or something like that they'd be showing training vignettes and all that sort of stuff you know so i i don't i don't know i think it's going to be another talk show segment like it's going to play out exactly how i just laid it out and uh it's just going to be a time filler well Going by the Cody Rhodes logic, though, there would be no point in having him have a match. If there was going to be a match, then you you yeah, build yeah it up. you would Stone you Cold would hype it up. for one last match. Right, exactly. Yeah, you can't just spring it on people and make a surprise out of it. I mean, that's just a rumor. You know, one of the many right. I've seen floating around and stuff. I don't think that's going to happen. Like I said, well, what, uh, what but, about but this? For, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. What about this for a possibility? And I don't know which tag team, so I'm just going to throw one out there just for the sake of it. What if, you know, the new, or the, it won't be the new age outlaws, but some, you know, middle of the road tag team comes out. Austin and, and Owens are in the ring. They're jabbering back and forth. Some middle of the road tag team comes out and they start, you know, giving both those guys crap. And then we get double stunners. 
double beer slams, and they're all happy. Uh, that's a possibility too, but I still don't think that at the end of the day it would be all that entertaining. You know, no, it, I would agree. Put, it would put a different spin on it, sure. Yeah, I and mean, you, you you could do that. The problem, the only problem with that theory is is that you know, well, here's here okay, here's how I see that actually ending that scenario. It would play out just like you said, but then Austin gives him the stunner and lays him out because when you said talked, it, I thought of it. Yes. He's he's talked he's talked way too much trash about Texas and all that stuff and everything. He's not just gonna forgive him and then you know walk out of there, you know, like buddies or anything like right. that. Maybe they team up, maybe they take out whoever, you know, comes out to to give him hell and then you know, but at the end of the day, the last man standing in that ring will be Stone Cold Steve Austin. So, yeah, yeah you know, one way or the other, no matter what they do, that's what as soon I, as I heard I you promise talk, you that's how it's going to end. Yeah, uh, yeah, that would, that would be a much better, much better conclusion. All right, so so we we uh, we differ on the edge, uh, um, we differ on edge styles, we differ on the the no, we both agree on the the unifying belts. We we agree on the women's tag team. We agree on the Raw Women's Championship belt, and, and we disagree on the uh, SmackDown. Yeah. All right. And we pretty much agree on, on Seth Rollins facing, if it's not Cody, it's going to be Shano, and Shano is our odds-on favorite. And, yeah. And uh, Owens, one we pretty much think is going to be flat either way, no matter flat or predictable, either way. Yeah, right. Yeah. I, yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's about the sum of it, yeah. And the rest of our predictions for, I don't know, there's like eight or nine more matches. We will write down. We'll both come up with predictions. They will count towards our totals. And that's it. Everyone enjoy the WrestleMania. Saturday yeah. and Sunday, two big days. Order your pizzas, order your whatever you're ordering people, and have some fun with it. Uh, my place is open for business both nights, and uh, I'm expecting you at at least one of them. I got the invite. I just got to work it out what day, you know, with my dad and all. I got to figure out what days I'm going down there, but I fully plan on, on making an appearance. Because you said you'd make it to at least one night. I so. did. I did. All right. All right. Yeah. Well, I hope you're there. That way you can lose in person. So. It was so cocky. <laughs> with nothing to back it up. But anyway, and we again, we'll, we'll flash the record to show that I'm superior. With that, Tommy, I, I uh, appreciate your help and your joining, your contributions to Pinfalls WrestleMania. Everybody enjoy WrestleMania weekend. As Tommy started the show, it's the grand showcase of them all, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You said it much better than I could ever. I'm not trying to duplicate you. With that, Tommy else, I bid you adieu. Everybody else, thank, thank you for listening. Thanks again for having me, man.